Hello everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video uh, regarding some of ASUS's Wi-Fi 6E routers slash access points slash uh, mesh systems. Uh, they have a couple that are Wi-Fi 6E capable and I have one of them which is the Zen Wi-Fi Pro ET12. Uh, it has two, two access points that are um, Wi-Fi 6E capable and I just got one of the new MacBook Pro uh, M2 so they have Wi-Fi 6E and I noticed that when I went up to here and clicked option when clicking the Wi-Fi and it was not able to connect at the five or the six gigahertz frequency and so I wasn't able to get the full potential of the routers that I had just bought. So I did some uh, searching on Google and whatnot, found a Reddit thread that was for the uh, other router, which is the AX, AXE16000. And uh, I found in that thread that someone had in, in, been in contact with uh, someone that works at Broadcom. And Broadcom is the chipset manufacturer for these routers. So I was able to contact that person as well have them uh, look into it for the uh, Zen Wi-Fi version. And uh, I'm glad to re say that they released an update as of yesterday, which was March 21st of 2023, that resolves this issue. If you click the show description, more description, it doesn't say anything about that uh, in, the, in the description, but it does resolve the issue. Uh, I did have to restart the laptop and uh, I got a prompt that th my password wasn't working for the Wi-Fi and I just had to retype it in and everything was good. And then it works and it connects to the Wi-Fi 6E, uh, the six gigahertz frequency. So the uh, GT AX E16000, uh, that firmware does actually list it here when you click more descriptions. It says uh, fixed Wi-Fi 6E connection issues with phones. It's not just phones, it was also MacBook Pros and anything um, that had this issue. So that one was released last month on uh, February 20th of 2023. And um, so if you want, if you're having those issues or you notice that you have uh, internet speeds of capable of above gigabit, but you're not getting them on these devices, uh, that's probably why. If you want just a quick test, you can hold the option button um, on your keyboard if you're using a Mac and then click on the Wi-Fi uh, icon on the top menu bar and then you should see here it'll show you under here what uh, channel and what frequency it's connected to and uh, that should be where it uh, says 6 gigahertz if you are capable of 6 gigahertz. Now I'm going to do a quick speed test just to see that everything is working fine in terms of my internet connection being able to do that. And let's change the server because I know Rogers isn't usually that fast. I know Beanfield is usually faster. So let's uh, do that test. Yep, and there we go. So I have 1.5 gigabits down and uh, about an, a gigabit up. So just because the Beanfield Metro Connect server might not be able to give me a, a full download of 1.5 gigs, but as you can see, it's over one gigabit. So it seems like everything's working correctly. Just wanted to make a quick video for anyone that hasn't even noticed this issue or has noticed this issue and didn't know that there was now uh, an update for them and a, a fix. One thing to note about the Wi-Fi Pro ET12, it's listed as beta. So if you do it through the iOS or Android app, it might not say that there's an update. You have to do this manually and um, do it through the web interface. That's it. Thanks for watching.